12 months ago for the 4th of July holiday weekend, the streets around the Y were empty. The Wesson Run canceled by COVID. What a difference a year makes. Now there were plenty of people and runners, plenty of t-shirts, plenty of watermelon to be had, plenty of red, white, and blue balloons, plenty of water, plenty of babies to be seen, plenty of dogs as well, and plenty of patriotism on display. Because we love America, we're all American girls, we love running and, and walking and everything about being fit, and so we decided to get dressed up and yeah. come show ourselves off. <laughs> For members of the Gulf Coast Running Club, this day was a long time coming. Finally back to running and, and uh, we got a really good uh, pre-registered turnout, so uh, we're expecting a huge crowd today. Here today, members of Ainsley's Angels, which raises money for and then donates racing wheelchairs. It's one of our favorite runs of the year. It's, it's a good family uh, event, um, and so we've been invited back for now that this would be the sixth year if, if last year hadn't been canceled. So we're, we're excited to be back. We're for Y staff members, seeing all this brings back great memories. And it's just something to get everyone together, celebrate Independence Day, and honor the Weston family who's been a part of our YMCA heritage for decades. Uh, we've got a water station. It's going to be on Simon in about a mile and a quarter. Members of the Wesson family were here and were touched by the display of support. It's so encouraging just to see everyone come out um, and just to be together again for this race for my grandparents. So I know it would just mean a lot for them and it's so encouraging to my family year after year. The Wesson run is not just about fitness or winning. It's also about a very good cause. All the free proceeds from this event go to our programs, um, scholarship programs, because we don't turn anybody away um, for sports programs, for a membership to the YMCA or swimming lessons. So this helps um, help our scholarship program. Before the starting horn sounds, a patriotic formality takes place. Then Ainsley's Angels lead the way down the street followed by hundreds of runners, each living out a long-delayed dream, a dream delayed by COVID. For some, the finish line appears within 10 minutes or so. For others, a while longer. But on this day, everyone was a real winner. Doug Walker, reporting for our YMCA.